Welcome back to Elden Ring, my name is Ricky. Last time we wandered around here at the crumbling fair of Missoula for way longer than I'd care to admit because this place is a nightmare to figure out where I'm supposed to go and then by the end of it I just decided I was going to have to do this in between episodes, which I did, and today we are going to take on what I hope is the final boss of this area. Also, uh, I leveled up a bit and now my arcane is at 35. I put my uh, new seal, the dragon communion seal, up to plus 10, it was at plus nine. And I'm gonna say this, this was one of the most massive jumps I have seen in any kind of damage anything. So it went from 289 incant scaling to 303 incant scaling with one upgrade. Now, the reason it did that is because now it scales with a B in faith instead of a C in faith. There's an ancient dragon somber smithing stone here, past the dragon, because basically what I discovered was that I was going the wrong way the whole time last time, and I needed to go past the Crucible Knight, which I never actually killed, and uh, go past him, and then there's a dragon that will just fly away when you get close to it, and behind that, the gazebo, there's the ancient dragon, dragon somber smithing stone, but then you gotta keep going around, and... Up, and eventually you get to a side of grace that's right here. And then, surprise, surprise, there is a tree sentinel up here. Specifically, the draconic tree sentinel, I think is what it's called. Anyway, uh, it's it's exactly like the one that we fought when we went into the capital. However, I can't summon an ash, and I can't get on my horse, so it was a nightmare. So what I actually did was I got him scarlet rotted, and then I went and hid down by the side of grace, where he couldn't really attack me, wait for it to get him all the way down, then run back up, hit him again, and then get back down. And that actually took a couple tries, because as I'm going down those stairs several times, he hit me with lightning and knocked me off the stairs. Because for some reason, instead of falling like forward, you fall to the right when you get hit by lightning, or fall to the left or whatever. I, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I have not fought this boss yet, just to be clear. This is my first attempt at it, and I'm not even going to say we're going to do this to the entire episode, because... I have some other ideas for what we can do. Also, apparently this boss is much better than the boss from, uh... Ooh, Beast Clergyman. Um... Well, that sucked. Um... Okay. This doesn't feel like this should be the final boss of this area. Oh, good lord. Like, hey, we're going to have him be really, really slow, and then suddenly, so aggressive, it actually hurts. Hate those kinds of bosses. Okay. Is there a particular reason I have not summoned uh, Lutel yet? No, there is not. Not really. Ow. Those don't really hurt that bad, but still. Okay, you cannot jump that far away. I hate enemies that are like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just create so much space between you and me. And you have to run over and then I'm going to do it again and again and again and again and again. Every boss is like that in, in this game. It's not fun. It's not a good boss design. If I wind up not being able to kill it this week, um, then I will probably do what I did with the Godskin Duo and just see who needs to co-op it. And put my sign down up here. So... Let's actually summon him this time. Summon her this time, rather. Well, that was trash. I had no time to really react to anything that that person, that the beast clergy just did. Oh my good lord, game! If you're gonna have a combo button that makes me switch between one handed and two handed, it needs to be better than what you're doing. So we're going to try uh, Scarlet Rotten him this time. Okay, no. Okay, no. I hate this boss. I hate this boss. What? I... Okay, you... Stay still just for like a second. Okay, now he's... Dealing with that, and I need to get away from him. Well, it hit him. Oh. Okay. Become my blade once more. What?
What? Is he done using the bestial incantations at least? Because giant sword wielding monster seems a lot easier to fight than bestial incantation nightmare dude. It may not be. Uh, uh, nope, this feels like, uh, uh, one of those annoying knights from three already, the way he's standing. Well, that was annoying. Hey, I know. How about a three attack attack that you literally can't get away from? So maybe I need to roll forward, which is not actually the way it's worked for basically any of these other ones. So he transforms. Is there another bit of this boss fight or is it just this? Because if it's just this, okay. But I've been recording for 11 minutes and I'm already feeling myself a little bit tilty. So we may do something else if uh, this does not go well. Heck, I'm not even sure I'm going to get through this first half of this boss section. Because you still have to fight the beast clergyman who is going very slow now. Also, he just fully pulled out a sword from his hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, the rocks come back down. What? Also, uh, I still didn't get him. Yeah, we're playing ring around the pole. Polesy. There we go. Okay, so I am not even going to waste my time. Attacking him in any way, shape, or form. We're just gonna... Nope. What was that attack? Because I wasn't anywhere... I just... So we're gonna take on Volcano Manor now because I genuinely don't want to keep fighting that boss today. And I don't want... I don't care to, so... We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. Cool. So, tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts? No. About the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? No. If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us? Okay. Rise with us against the Erd Tree. I already set it on fire. I'm joining it because I'm not going to not join it, but... The decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. Now I do know that there's a bunch of assassination missions that you can go on. I don't really know what the heck I'm supposed to do here much, if anything. But um, I know that there's a certain boss here that I want to kill uh, for revenge on being an annoying part of another duo. And that's basically why we've come here. I don't know where this boss is. This is a... Apparently an empty room. I'm guessing there's supposed to be someone here, but uh, I have been doing almost no quest lining in this game at all, except for uh, Ronnie's quest and Millicent's quest. Ooh, there are a lot of uh, veins here. Is someone going to attack me? I feel like someone's about to invade me or something. Because I don't... Yep. Like, I don't... Okay, well, here, good news. There we go. It's like, good news, I got a really cool power they tend to not be able to hit. Giza's wheel, okay. Um, I broke your giant table. I hope that's okay. Um, I think he broke it first. Also, this thing's just sort of floating in the air now. So that's fun. I can walk through it. Look, I can stand inside it. That's weird. The worst part about the hidden path ahead messages is that there are hidden paths in this area. Fire ahead. Thanks. Back downstairs because, uh, upstairs has... I've hit every wall upstairs. With a uh, with an invisible, I've hit every wall upstairs that might have an invisible uh, hidden wall in it. Um, and aside from the one that you have to hit like fifty times, um, I didn't open this door. Uh, I uh, did not find any.
There we go. Okay. I just... There's a note. Door ahead. Yeah. Okay. Strong foe, but grace ahead. Uh, okay. Not that strong a foe. Mm, that really wasn't that strong of a foe. I'm just going to say it. Fine, I'm probably a little over leveled for this area. I love it when people are like, strong foe ahead, and it's like, yeah, maybe if I came when I was supposed to come here, but uh, I kept pushing on with the main game instead. Because I kept talking about coming here for multiple parts and just didn't. What the heck is this thing? Aside from what appears to be some sort of like fake god skin. Apostle? Noble? The skinny one. Oh, no. No, no, no. Can you get through here? Nope, 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 nope. We're running up here. We're running up here. We're running up here. Open up the thing. It makes me do more damage. Mm. All right. That still sucked. Just in case anyone is wondering. Still sucked. Should I be Assassin's Creeding it? You are not really... Okay. That one appears to be a broken down one because I can't lock on to it. Cannot open from this side. Because of course. Can these things be backstabbed? Yes. I love that move so much. I love that move so much. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it. I'm opening the door. That will maybe save me some time later. No. No. Just see it immediately. Start my attack. Flurry of blades. There's another one coming. Those suck. They're the worst. They're not the worst. Okay, fine. They're probably not the worst enemies in the game, but they are absolutely, absolutely some of the worst enemies in the game. He seems like he wants to get put out of his misery, so... Oh! Hang on. Get in here. He seemed like he wanted to get put out of his misery, but maybe what he was actually doing was trying to trick me into fighting... One of those annoying guys. So this has just gotten incredibly annoying. But I can jump up here. And explore up here. This feels like a bad idea to do. But uh, also, you know, it worked out. But it was probably a dumb move on my part. Okay, now we're over here. Bye. I don't know if I actually killed him. Multiple times I knocked people off in the... Uh, Ferrum and uh, the crumbling Ferrum place, and they just fell to the level below it and came back and attacked me. I can summon. Does it not feel like I missed some sort of like uh, golden, uh, uh, whatever they're called, the sites of grace? Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 and I'm dead. Seriously, did I miss something? Is there another way there? Because, like, this appears like something I need to, like, pull from the ground to get up into the air. Or maybe from the other side. Try this again, but this time we're just going to run through everything. Actually, let's take rooftops. How about the one that's right there? I don't know. That one? That one would be cool? Bye. What kind of trash was that game? 
I guess it could be worse. They could be even tankier. Seriously, can I not repost them? Maybe I have to go around to backstab them. I don't know. I feel like I must have missed a side of grace somewhere. Or Volcano Manor is way more trash than I realized. Because, uh... Not having a side of grace and making me do this run again a second time without having another shortcut feels like a mean thing to do. I didn't go this way last time. I went through the rooftops. Okay, I came to the same place. Okay, wait, hang on. Where does this take me? Aha, this takes me up. Okay, so I may ha so that elevator system over there took me down. This takes me up here. This is where I wanted to go. Potentially. Oh lord, it's one of these guys. Okay. There we go. I mean, that wasn't nearly as hard as it's. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It wasn't nearly as hard as it's been in the past. That was a bad idea. I accidentally hit the, uh... What happened in here? Oh, no! Come on, game. That is trash. Okay. Now, I, I kind of know how to beat him. But it's going to involve him getting distracted for even a half a second. Not at me. Like there is another person in this room trying to kill you. If you think I can't kill you just by running around the room. <sighs> He's about to do his thing. Yep. Really no good way to avoid this thing, so you're just going to have to take damage. But at least, unlike Godskin Duo, he doesn't do all of my health almost immediately. Okay. Be good. Whoa, he can hit me through my ghost. The range on that stab is so trash, by the way. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just use this just to get as many souls as I can. So just in case anyone's wondering, did not know this was about to be a boss fight. Probably should have suspected it based on the... I mean, look at the room. Okay, fine. It got destroyed a little bit more, but it was already not in great shape. Because when I walked in here, I said, what happened here? So I did have to sell some of my uh, consumable runes to get up to 139,000 souls. But I mean, that's what they're there for. Anyway, I'm putting Arcane up by one more point. It's going to make my sword and my Sacred Seal do more damage. So we took on Volcano Manor, and I got my revenge on the admittedly far weaker version of the Godskin Noble than I fought with the Godskin Duo. But if it was just one at a time, I think it would be easier. Like for instance, if there was a boss fight where you fought them back to back, like you fought the skinny Godskin and then you fought the fat Godskin, and you didn't have to keep fighting them over and over and over again, that would be a much more interesting boss fight in my opinion. And they probably should have put that in the game somewhere, you know? Next time, hopefully we'll beat that Black Blade guy. This has been Elden Ring, thank you for watching and come back soon for more Elden Ring.